Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. This is going to be our straight out of the movie theater review of The Whale. Uh, I want everyone to go see this movie, and I want you to know nothing about it. <laughs> this is actually one of the few times I have refused to watch the trailers. I am only going off of what everyone else has been saying about what Brendan Fraser does in this movie. Yeah, he's... He's amazing. <laughs> wow. Um, Sadie Sink's pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> um, the two best, two of the best performances I've seen this year is Sadie Sink in uh, season four of Stranger Things and Brendan Fraser in The Whale, and then Sadie backed it up with with what she did in this in this movie. As Ellie, yes. As Ellie, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is a uh, a uh, a simple movie about complex human emotions <laughs> it's a really good way of putting it it's a it's uh this is a very different movie than i think a lot of people it's based off of a play which i didn't know until i was watching the credits yeah um so that helps that there it's kind of been flushed out already before we got to actually filming it um but the i but the idea of how to how you deal with emotion as a person is is really awesome like it's it's heart-wrenching um but like in a in a good way i like i feel hopeful with getting my heart ripped out i don't know how that <laughs> yeah yeah that also explains it's uh, it it's a one set movie yeah so that be it being a play makes sense yeah it explains it that he, he doesn't go anywhere it, you don't go anywhere yeah 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 it's um we talk a lot about how movie uh, like movies and tv shows and stuff like that are filmed and uh and this one's very um the re the ones the one apartment setting um makes you feel trapped um with Brendan Fraser's character um and 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 it and it adds to the um the tightness you feel in your heart while he's going through what he's going through and um we talk about the cinematography a lot and that's a very different view of how to do something compared to wide landscapes or lighting that like uh that like uh roger deakins does or um visual styling that you get in like dune or or star wars or something like that it's 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 a very effective um way of filming a subject matter that is meant to make you feel uncomfortable at times and i thought i think that was it was really really well done um I, I, I want er, go see this movie. I, I, I don't want I don't want you to know anything. Yeah. I it it added to the movie that I didn't watch a trailer for this movie. Yeah, yeah. I I mean I had a very vague idea of of. I mean I I did see we I think we saw maybe a preview or something in front of another movie, but there's was, nothing in that one. Yeah, it it was very short, and that was pretty much all I knew. So. Um, and support if if you're going to bitch that all the movies that are coming out are Avatar and Star Wars and Marvel movies and superhero movies and you don't go support something like this then shut the fuck up <laughs> uh, score uh, nine and a half <laughs> nine <laughs> uh, this would have been a ten for me I don't know if I want to rewatch it I want to rewatch yeah. it for the performance, one thousand percent. Yeah. But it rewatchability is a big deal for me, and I don't know. I this how it feels in my heart right now can just <laughs> stay as it is. I don't need to rewatch it. So, anything else? Nope, that's it. That is our thoughts on the whale. Let us know what you thought of this movie. These performances in the comments down below. Please be nice. That's a requirement around here. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow us on all the social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.